Thank you for attending the web demonstration of the Artec Leo. This is Chris Strong with Rapid Scan 3D, and today we're gonna to show the Artec Leo scanning this mannequin with clothes on. Idea would be to see how the Artec Leo works, which is completely wireless, has an onboard computer uh, built in, and uh, is able to scan really fast, great for scanning people or larger objects. And we can scan some other objects too, something the size of your fist. Um, comes out in great detail. So let's go ahead and scan here and we'll go from there and show you the data and everything in our tech studio. Right, and uh, once we're done with that, uh, we have the data here, and we can go ahead and actually see a full 360 inside uh, the Artec Leo. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and transfer the data over to Artec Studio, and we'll see it all uh, set up in there. All right, so I'm uh, importing uh, some scan files from the Leo. I'm just gonna go ahead and import it. All right, so we have the file here. I'm just gonna bring this up. Um, before I do anything, I'm just gonna go ahead and save this project. All right, so let's go ahead and name this Manny Demo Artec Ray or Leo. Okay, so um, once we have this saved, I'm just going to show you on the right hand side. We have a two things here Artec Leo 1.1 and 1.2. The software, when it was scanning, divided it into two scans, even though it's all aligned in one. So basically, we have uh, scan one with uh, 3,411 frames or pictures, and then uh, the next one has about 400 frames. Um, to the right, you'll see uh, shows polygons, but these are actually points. So uh, the first scan, 133 million points, and the next one, 12 million points. So what that basically means is a lot of data. Um, so once this is uh, done saving, um, we're going to go ahead and move forward on the next side. All right, so we have our save file here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into my tools uh, section and I'm gonna do a global registration. I'm gonna just use geometry. We do have the option to use geometry and texture um, or targets with another software, uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use the global registration by geometry. And what that does, it looks at all the frames between those two scans and does it best fit.
All right, so now we have the uh, two scans aligned. I'm gonna go ahead and create um, a sharp fusion from this. Uh, we do have a couple options here from the fusion, outlier removal, fast fusion, smooth fusion, sharp fusion. Outlier, outlier removal is not a fusion functionality. Um, it actually will reduce or uh, eliminate outlying data that might be hanging around. Um, this is really good on uh, shiny objects, but from here, we don't need it. Uh, fast fusion creates a quick mesh, and then smooth fusion creates a quick mesh, but it also smooths out data. This is really good for objects that move, so if you're scanning a person, this is really good, or if you just want something a little bit smoother. Here, I want sharp fusion. I'm gonna go ahead and um, want the best detail, and we have the ability to fill holes, so we can fill a hole with a certain radius size, so here it's at two millimeters, click that, defaults back at five. Uh, we can tell the software to not fill any holes and that you'll do it later. We can say not fill hole, any holes, or it can make it watertight. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it a watertight mesh. Um, we don't need any holes, I just wanna make sure this is all nice and filled all the way through. All right, so we have our mesh here. Obviously, uh, we uh, didn't need this big blob or mount in here, um, but that's no problem. We can go ahead and delete that pretty easy. So I'm gonna go into my editing tool. Um, inside my editing tool, I have an eraser button, and we have a lot of different options here. So we have a 2D selection that we can kind of delete data with like a 2D brush. Um, 3D selection kind of works the same way, um, but it's more curvature on the data. We have a rectangle section so we can kind of just erase data like that. Uh, we have a lasso section, so we can lasso our own data. Um, and then we have cutoff plane and base selection. So I'm gonna use the cutoff plane selection. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna highlight uh, what I believe is a plane. And the software, what it's gonna do is gonna use that data to try to create a plane. But obviously that didn't work well. So let's uh, deselect that. Go out here. Let's try this one more time. And I'm just gonna go ahead and try to find a plane. All right, that worked a little bit better. And if I don't like it, I can actually increase the plane going up um, or I can go down. You can see the toes, they kind of get start getting covered up so I don't want that. So just want it right where the toes end. I'm gonna hit erase. And now we have watertight mesh, except for the bottom. So because I de deleted that table, I need to fill those holes. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna take, erase this uh, little section here. And I'll just lasso around it. Hit erase. And then to fill these holes, really easy. I'm gonna go into my fix hole section. Um, it's gonna identify that there's a couple of holes. And I can either click on the bot on here to, to fill these holes, or I can just say select all and fill it. All right, so I'm just gonna hit apply. And then I'm gonna come here and we can see the data so you can see how nice this is. It's getting all those wrinkles in the, in the jeans. Um, you know, we can come in here and we can see the belt and the shirt lines. 
and then even into the beanie and the eyes and the lips here. So with this file, we have uh, 55.2 million files or uh, polygons. Sorry, uh, pretty big file. Um, I'm going to actually just duplicate this, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to simplify this mesh. So right now, 5.2 million. I'm just going to go into my tools, and we have a couple different options. So mesh, mesh simplification, we have a few different. Um, we can simplify it by a polygon count, which is actually a fast mesh simplification down here. It's a redundant button. Um, we can do a shape deviation. So saying, let's simplify it, but don't deviate more than 0 0.05 millimeters from the object. Uh, we can remove small polygons. So let's say max 0.5 millimeters. Um, or we can have one that says keep texture. So right here, I'm just going to do a fast simplification. And I think this is a default 600,000. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now we have a simplified mesh. I uh, dropped it to 600,000 triangles versus 502. Um, if I'd like to, I can actually come in here and see what those look like. So let me just go ahead and do a quick uh, wire over solid. So you can see here um, with the 5.2 million triangles, it's really large. And if I want to simply go here, you can see it's going to be a little lighter file. Areas with high geometry, you can tell in the belt loops, there's a little tr smaller triangles and then areas where there's flatter areas, it's going to have some bigger triangles. So from here, I'm actually going to go ahead and apply the texture. So I'm going to show the scan data that we have here. I'm going to go into my textures and I'm just going to go ahead and hit apply. All right, now we have our uh, textures applied. Um, come in here and we can kind of see some of this nice color here. Um, if you want, you can uh, adjust the brightness to make it brighter, but I think uh, the scanner got it pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And uh, definitely come in here and see how, how amazing this Artec Leo is. Uh, the detail that it's able to capture um, is is ultimately amazing uh, the color and this is set at just normal we can actually even get better textures color textures if we like um, but pretty amazing uh, system really happy with it um, you know being able to get this stitching on the back of the of the jeans is pretty pretty amazing so uh, if you have any questions feel free to reach out to us um, information We'll be at the end of this video with our contact in, uh, phone number and email. Thanks for a lot for joining. This is Chris Strong with Rapid Scan 3D.